Okay, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to discuss long put verticals. So remember, long just refers to the fact that we're buying this put vertical spread. If you buy it, you're going long. If you sell it to open, that means you're going, you're, you're shorting. So we're buying this put vertical spread. So the, the market assumption when you put on this trade is you should have a bearish assumption or you should hope or want the underlying security or symbol to go down so you're bearish. Uh, the implied volatility should be low when you use this strategy because a, an expansion in implied volatility will help this position. Optimal time frame, 30 to 60 days to expiration. It's kind of the sweet spot, that 45 days, similar to what we do in, in most of our trading strategies. And the profit target is, is a bit subjective, so it's kind of a range, kind of in that 25 to 50% of debit paid is what we want to look for as a profit target. The downside risk in this trade is none. Obviously, you, you, you profit if the price goes down, so there's no, so the down, so the risk is not to the downside. And the upside risk is defined, so it's, it's limited to the amount of debit that you paid when you entered the trade. So it's defined risk and, and it's limited to the debit that you paid. And the probability of profit, the way we set this up, is approximately 50%, okay? So this is essentially a 50-50 bet. This is essentially, like if you were to short stock, uh, this is a, a short stock replacement, okay? So, so you think of that as a 50-50 because you don't necessarily have any uh, extra probabilities on your side. You're just making an assumption, you're making a directional trade, uh, and your probabilities are about 50-50. So the trade setup is we're gonna buy one in the money put and we're gonna sell one out of the money put, okay? Now this is all done with one click, typically on your platform. It is with, with Thinkorswim, but uh, the, the, the uh, setup is actually buying one in the money put and selling one out of the money put. And as a note, uh, time decay or theta, kind of that daily, daily uh, time decay that you, you get with uh, income strategies. Uh, the time decay, the theta can be positive when price is lower than your break even point, and time decay can be negative when the price of the underlying symbol is higher than your break even point. Let's go to the platform and take a look at an example. So when I look to put on these types of trades, I want to look, I want to look for a symbol or a stock that has had kind of a short-term or long-term price extreme, you know? So essentially when I'm using this, I'm, I'm simply just playing the role of contrarian. This stock has had a nice run from uh, you know, way down here up to here. So in the last 25 days, this stock is up over 8%, okay? So, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a nice run. Stocks don't go up forever. In this case, this is the healthcare ETF, XLV, extremely liquid symbol. So I'm simply looking to put on a directional trade that says this, this stock might reverse a little bit in the near future, you know, in the next 30 to 60 days. I mean, that's the assumption. So what we would do is simply go to the trade tab and look for the option chain in that 30 to 60 day range. Again, I stay out of the weeklies for this type of strategy. Uh, 56 days is the, is the monthly that falls in that range, so that's the one we'll use. So between now and the next 56 days, I think that XLV is going to trade below where it is right now. Okay, and that's the assumption that I'm taking. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen, uh, but that's the way that I trade looking for price extremes or potential price, price extremes and looking for a bit of a reversal to profit on that trade. So go to the trade tab. Uh, remember, we're going to buy an in the money put. So the in the monies are, sh are on the shaded side here. So um, and, and we want to look for the current price. So it's currently trading about $74.5, 74 $74.62. So I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mess around with this, and and you can play with this as far as how wide you you want your strikes to be. But let's just say we want to buy the in the money, and so we just select the one we're gonna buy, and we just do buy vertical. Okay. 
So that's going to populate down below. It's going to input our 78 that we bought. It's indicated by a plus sign. And then it automatically goes to the next strike lower. So we don't, we don't want that one. Remember, we're going to buy one in the money put. And then we're going to sell a, a put that's out of the money, so outside the shaded area. So let's, let's say, you know, we want to, we want to kind of uh, straddle, get right around that where it's currently trading. So it's about 74 and a half. So if I chose the 78, let's just, let's use the 71, for example, because that, that gives us about the, you know, a similar, similar amount of uh, strikes on either side of where price is. So, so let's choose the 71 and then we can, we can take a look and analyze that. So if we right click, analyze trade that's going to populate on our risk profile here and so what you'll see is this is where price is currently and um, and so you can see to the upside if, if price were to continue to go to the upside uh, you, you, your max risk on this trade is $341 so that's the debit that we would pay for this trade on the downside, it's uh, it's defined, so we don't have any risk to the downside, and our max profit is $359. So we have a potential of making $359, potential loss, max loss of $341. And remember, we're going to manage this trade as if we get a winner when, when we are at about 25 to 50% of max profit. So somewhere kind of in this, you know, 73 to to 72 range. If, if price moves down just that that couple bucks, just a, just a little bit, we can manage this trade for a winner and then redeploy that capital. So so again, just to review, looking for a price extreme for something to go, sh uh, you know, to, to look for a downside. This fits that criteria. We set it up, and and you can and you can move these strikes around. Make sure you unclick the little uh, lock box here. And then you can you can move these around. So let's say we didn't want to risk three hundred and forty-one dollars. Let's say uh, we wanted to risk less. So we could we could move this strike in. So here's our seventy-eight strike. We could move that into seventy-seven if we wanted. And we could move the seventy-one up to seventy-two. And now it's still essentially a fifty-fifty bet. And and look where this this uh, hashed line is right here. This this dashed line. Look, you've got about 48% chance it's going to uh, close below this line. Uh, between now and, and expiration, it's about a 51% chance that it's going to close above it. Okay, uh, excuse me, on on to the uh, downside. So essentially, I mean that's pretty close, close enough, 50-50 bet. So, but with this with this version, you're you're only risking $237 for a max profit of 263. So why would I choose one or the one over the other? It's just a personal. Um, it's just a personal account. It's it's you know maybe you, maybe you're uh, in a smaller account and you don't want to risk as much. You know based on the amount you want to risk per trade. Uh, the the further out you make these. So let's put this at 79 and this at uh, you know this one at 70. You know now we're risking 433 and max profit of 467. So you can make more. But you're taking on more risk too, and your 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 max max profit and max loss are moving further away from price. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a preference and how it fits into your overall portfolio. So I'm going to go back to what we originally had, which is the 7871, and and just because I like you know it's not too these these strikes aren't too close to price they're not too far away I've got a good chance if it just moves down a couple bucks that I can I can bank that profit and move on to the next one and so I'm gonna go ahead and, and send this trade in and I'm actually, I'm gonna I'll kick it up a, a notch and uh, I want to do I'm gonna do two contracts so I'm risking 682 uh, for max profit of 718 again I'm not gonna hold this all the way to expiration though I am going to take this off. Um, uh, at some point of uh, a percentage of max profit, somewhere between 25 and 50 percent. So let's go ahead and send that. Right click, confirm and send. Send. And we got filled at 341. So, so now we're in the trade. You can see it's, it's populated there. The risk graph is 
just like we had it previously. And, and so the last point would be, you know, how, uh, as, far as, as far as timing, you wanna be out of this trade uh, before expiration. So you wanna, you wanna get out uh, sometime if you're, if, you, if it's a loser, uh, you know, if it's a full loser, you're just going to hold it because then the only, the only uh, thing that can happen is it could benefit you by by moving down. So, if you're already at a full loser, just leave it on um, and and hold on to it. If it's somewhere kind of in between here, not a full loser, uh, and and I'm in the last week of expiration, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, and then, of course, on the winning side, once I reach a specific percentage of max profit, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So I hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.